Hello, everybody. This is MJ with the uh, Live, Learn, Travel Hangout, where we encourage people to continue to live, learn, and travel with passion by helping to share knowledge and experiences uh, from expats and global travelers. And so today we have with us Brandon Pennington, uh, who's an expat here in Brazil. So we want to welcome you, Brandon. How are you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for having me, Marvin. I appreciate it. Great, great. Thank you for uh, being here with us. So we'll get right into our interview. So tell us, Brandon, a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from. Um, my name is Brandon Pennington, and I am from Chicago, Illinois, in the United States. Okay, great, great. Chicago, one of my favorite cities. I absolutely love it. So how long have you been here in Brazil? Um, this time I have been living here now for two years, but I am very familiar with Brazil. I studied abroad here in 2005 and have traveled back here several times. And then after that, I kind of wanted to live here uh, more of a on a long term basis, and I've been here now for two years. Okay, fabulous. And so, um, what else brought you to Brazil? How did you get here? What, uh, what's the story behind that a little bit? Well, um, how this all started was is that I am, I really love traveling. I particularly love Latin America and I speak Spanish and I, after I finished my MBA, I wanted to move to Brazil because while I was working on my MBA, I first studied abroad here in 2005 and then after I after I got done with uh, graduate school I decided that I wanted to learn Portuguese so I was studying it for a few years um, before I moved here but I wanted to really uh, learn how to speak well and because of some of my other interests I knew that it would be a, a language that would uh, benefit me my background is in in finance and accounting I worked for a bank before I moved to Brazil and I knew that it was uh, one of the uh, developing uh, markets in the world so I thought it would be beneficial in that way and also for my one uh, passion which is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so I, I knew that it would just be a language that I I always would be able to use in one way or another okay great so great what, that's what brought me here. So I guess short answer being several reasons brought me to Brazil. Okay, great, great. Well, uh, it sounds like you came to the right place. So then tell us about what part of Brazil are you in? Tell us a little bit about uh, the city that you live in. Um, I live in Campinas, Brazil. It is about an hour to an hour and a half west of Sao Paulo City. And it is... Um, basically the overflow city of where businesses are coming um, to uh, grow or expand outside of, of Sao Paulo. So it has about um, 1.2 million people. Right. Okay, very good. All right, so being here in Brazil almost two years, uh, share with our audience what are some of the challenges that you encounter here in Brazil? Um, I guess what, one of the biggest things that people have to be aware of, depending on where you're from, is the visa situation. Um, being from the United States, you have to have a visa to come here to Brazil. Um, most people that travel, they come on a travel visa, which isn't difficult to get, but it is something that you have to uh, do prior to, to coming to Brazil. Uh, so I guess that was one of the situations, and then dealing with switching over my visa to um, a work visa so I would say that that would be one of the biggest challenges that I had to deal with having to because of the bureaucracy that's involved with visas and that's something that I would say that people should be aware of that, that Brazil is a very bureau, bureaucratic country and you'll deal with that with with a lot of things actually if you come here to live um, and because of that things can take a while to 
get done. So I would say that that would be would, would be something that that people should be aware of. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's one of the things we uh, all can say we've experienced, and we gotta uh, have a little patience when we come here. Uh huh. Okay. So then, how about this? What are some of the things that you really enjoy about Brazil? Something that you just I uh, really want to share with, with, with people and let them know, hey, when you come here, um, you're going to enjoy this. I think that the, one of the, the biggest things is that when people think of Brazil, they think of Rio de Janeiro, they think of the beaches, but Brazil is a very dynamic country um, uh, culturally um, for a lot of different reasons. I mean, people have, have moved to Brazil from several different countries, Germany, Italy, Portugal, uh, Africa, and because of this, it makes the the people very dynamic, and also the country is very different if you go from state to state. So I would say that that people should be very open to traveling to other places besides Rio de Janeiro, because I've traveled almost probably probably around eighty percent of the country, and. I mean, from one place to another, it's very different. Okay, fabulous. Okay, then uh, also tell us uh, about what kind of work or business are you involved in here in Brazil? Um, I have been teaching English for myself um, ever since I moved here. And um, when I first moved here, it was kind of... Um, uh, coincidence when I was first moving here in July of 2012 my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu team was coming from Chicago in October and to, to Rio de Janeiro to train Jiu Jitsu so they didn't do very much with their trip because they knew that I was gonna be here and that they could rely on me but they realized that I kind of was a necessity because one of the big things that people need to be aware of, and another thing that just came to my mind, is that only about 2% of Brazilians speak any English. So that is one of the difficulties to, to be aware of, and Spanish speakers a lot of times think that, that they're going to be able to communicate easily, and that's not always the case. Brazilians have an easier time understanding Spanish than Spanish people understanding Portuguese. So. What I did was, is, is, is my, my jiu-jitsu team, all of them spoke Spanish, but they still had a difficult time. So I called academies to see training hours, costs involved with that, uh, hotels, helped them out with um, tours and things like that. And that's when I had the idea for Training Brazil Group. And basically what, what, what it is, is, is that I help you to train, fight, and learn here in Brazil. The training portion is you can train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is the main focus, but also I can help you with training mixed martial arts. And you can do private classes. And you also, I help you with Jiu Jitsu registrations. That is one of the biggest things and what makes my business different than some other people that have helped people um, with training here in Brazil is that you have to have. Um, you have to be registered with a, with a number that's called like a CPF, which is like a social security number in the United States. So foreigners just register and pay online for a tournament and come here in Brazil and train because you need that documentation. So that is one of the biggest things that I help other people with is that if they want to come here to um, fight in jiu-jitsu tournaments. And the other thing is to learn, and that is... Um, Obviously, people's focus is to learn more about jiu-jitsu and to improve their skills, um, to train uh, MMA, but also to learn about Brazil. So also, I can help you with different types of, of tours in some of the different cities that um, I, in the academies that I work with in these different cities. So that is the whole um, concept of my business and um, basically the slogan, train, fight, learn. Okay, wow. It sounds exciting, and you came definitely to the right place to be able to uh, fulfill your passion with that. Um, you mentioned that you've traveled extensively here in Brazil. Um, mm -hmm. What are some of the areas that you would recommend to
to a person coming here to see that you just you really enjoyed? I would definitely have to say it depends on um, you, your personality type, and also like what weather you like. Because I mean, if you're a person who likes cold weather, people don't know this, but if you go to the south, it gets pretty cold and it actually snows a little bit. So there's a city in the south that's um, very cool called Gramadu. If you want to do more of a rustic, um, not be in a hotel type of vacation, then I would say go to the Amazon. Um, that would be a very cool place um, to go to. 60% of the world's animals actually are found in, in the Amazon. So I think that that's a really cool statistic. So um, I would just say it has to do with... with um, what, what you like, uh, I really do. I mean, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo. I mean, there's just so many places to, to go to. Salvador and Bahia has so much history. Um, so I, it, all, it all really depends. I would just say that people need to do a lot of their research on their own and just uh, read about Brazil because there really are endless possibilities depending on the type of, of trip you want to take. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the things that uh, most of us that have been here in Brazil find out that it's such a diverse country that, like you say, you can pick and choose where you want to go to. Uh, that's another reason why we want to connect with um, people here that have blogs throughout Brazil uh, because they're in different areas and, and they can share some of that knowledge and experience that you're talking about. Um, our final question then, uh, what tips, uh, what tip if you had something, uh, one thing to share with a person who was either visiting or relocating, might you share? I would say that um, the biggest thing, even for travel purposes, but you probably wouldn't experience this as much or, or, or be aware of it as much, because I wasn't until I lived in Brazil, is that things move a lot slower than they do in other countries. And being from the United States, a big city like Chicago, that was something that I wasn't used to. And you just have to be aware because the bureaucracy and the processes that are involved in stuff that things can take a while to get done. So I think that that would be the one suggestion that I would, would tell people that are coming to Brazil, whether or not you're moving here or just traveling here. Right. Very good. Yeah, like you say, some of these things we don't realize until we're really living here and we're uh, involved. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Very good. So I tell you what, uh, that's going to end our interview. But again, Brandon, notice that uh, the URL to his site uh, is there on his lower third, and also on our site and on our uh, social media. We're going to post a link to his site. So if you guys are interested in uh, what Brandon is involved in, we definitely want you guys to be able to hook up and connect with him. And also, Brandon, we're going to have to get together, and you have to show me your Chicago. Again, one of my favorite cities. Yeah, for sure. So, well, thank you for having me today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate your time. So, all right. So, much. oh yeah, thank you again. So, I tell you what, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, we're here to uh, speak with people, the expats that are uh, living uh, in Brazil, people who are even traveling the world that can share their knowledge and experiences to help us all to continue to live, learn, and travel with passion.